What's up ghouls and welcome back to my channel. Today a slightly different location and that is because I am testing out the a new bath bomb from Lush. Oh, it's like some weird fluff on it. I'm so fucking excited for this. So this is the Dark Arts Jelly Bomb, which if you don't know what that is, it's brand new to Lush. There's literally no reviews on the website of it yet. I saw a video of it today on Facebook, went straight into town. Luckily they had it. Um, so it's a bath bomb that when you put it in the bath, it's supposed to turn the water to a jelly-like substance. Um, reminds me of like jelly bath. I don't know if any of you had that when you were younger, but I used to love it. So it is the dark arts one. It is Harry Potter theme. How cool is that? So I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks like this. Very exciting. Um, smells amazing. It smells slightly like marzipan. I really hope I don't have that on my nose. <laughs> Yeah, it smells like marzipan, so I'm going to read you about, read you the information about it on the website so you know what it's like. As when you're feeling like going to the dark side, dabble in the dark arts, slither into a hot bath and cast this jelly bomb into the water. As tendrils of black give way to love potion pink, cinnamon leaf oil warms and stimulates. Jelly spreads on the surface of the water, softening skin as it goes, uplifting and brightening. Brazilian orange oil gives a mood gives moods a boost and sweet almond essential oil helps to keep skin conditioned relax and restore yourself and rise anew from the cinders how freaking cool so i'm going to pop this into the water let you know how it goes and then to top it off i'm going to film the harry potter tag because it is only fitting so let's pop this in the water and hope that it goes well <laughs> This is incredible. Oh my god. This is just like my aesthetic right here. This creepy, foggy water with hints of glitter. This is amazing. I'm unsure about the jelly part of it. But this is so, so pigmented. Like an eyeshadow. Let's get some down this end. We want to spread the dark love. Oh, I see a hint of pink. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little hint of pink there. Probably not. This is just amazing. I wish I had an underwater camera. It definitely feels different to a bath bomb. Like, you can feel that the... I don't know, the... what's it called? viscosity of the water is different, it does feel slightly jelly-like. This is so bubbly! Oh my god! This is like amazing. Oh, it does feel, when you hold these bits that come off, the bath bomb, it does feel like a, a very weird jelly. I am so impressed. I was like, no, do you know what? That's going to be all talk and no action. But this is pretty incredible. I just want to play with this for the rest of my life. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is when I get out of the bath, I'm going to be covered in this weird jelly. So I'm going to have to shower after this. This bath bomb was 4 95 um, but that is in UK pounds. So I don't know what it will be like. I know it's not out in America yet, because it said it on the video that it's not out yet. Um, so I don't know when it's going to be out in America, but hopefully soon so you guys can experience this. It's amazing. I will leave the link below for the bath bomb so you guys can see what the hell I'm talking about. But this is by far the coolest bath I've ever had in my life. There was that big thing from um, Hex Bomb, and they did the Black Bath Bomb, and it was like an absolute revelation. It's all sold out, and now Lush has one. I was waiting for them to do one. So there we go. Lush has its very own Black Bath Bomb, and they've won up to it because it's Harry Potter theme. But this weird jelly stuff. If I show you a close up of my hands, 
like all my body is just covered in this weird residue and it is weird and slimy and just oh um so my opinion on this bath bomb very cool it is somewhat jelly like but it is so messy and my landlord's coming around tomorrow um so i'm gonna have to <laughs> scrub this whole bath what I will point out is that I am well aware that this is um, this video has been done by Black Friday, not this exact bath bomb and not this tag, but the style is definitely a Black Friday thing. Um, by no means am I trying to copy her and not give her credit for it, um, anything like that. I was a little bit hesitant to film this video because I didn't want a lot of backlash of people like you're gonna be on Black Friday stop trying to be her all of that kind of thing of course I know that she came up with this well I don't maybe she didn't I don't really know but I have seen it on her channel I'm well aware that it's a series on her channel but I thought I would try something similar so I am aware <laughs> um, I just googled a Harry Potter tag because I knew there would be at least one and I found this one that Sarah Hawkinson did um, if you don't know who she is check her out I'll link her below she's amazing so, the questions starts off. Favourite book? Obviously Harry Potter. Um, so, I would say my favourite book is The Prisoner of Azkaban. I've read it in English and in German. Um, I did German for like six, seven, six years and then do a little bit every now and again on Duolingo. I am by no means fluent, but I do enjoy the language, so I read it in both English and German. Um, but yeah, The Prisoner of Azkaban is super cool, it's the only book I've ever read. Um, I love the films, but I'm not too much of a reader when it comes to Harry Potter. Um, but that book, for some reason, I've read, <laughs> read it like three or four times, I love it. Um, it used to terrify me when I was younger, I thought the Dementors were going to come and eat me in my sleep. And I was too scared to get up to go for a wee in the middle of the night, so it terrified me and I loved it. <laughs> Favourite movie? So it turns out, the other day, I realise I've never seen The Goblet of Fire. I've seen every other film, but not The Goblet of Fire. It's so odd. I don't know how I got through the whole series, missed that film, and it still made sense. Like, I feel like my whole life is a lie, so that's weird. But I watched it, and it was incredible. I loved it. So I would say my favourite movie is The Goblet of Fire, because that was a really cool movie. My least favourite book... Um, like I said, I haven't read any of the others, so I can't comment, but I'll do my least favourite film. Uh, my least favourite film would be Philosopher's Stone. Um, it was good, I mean, they're all good, but it maybe wasn't as exciting as the rest of the films. Um, parts of the books or movies that made you cry. It's, it's been so long since I've watched a lot of the films that I don't really remember, to be honest. There's nothing in the Goblet of Fire that made me cry. <gasps> Sirius Black, when Sirius Black dies. Oh, that is just so sad. Partly because he's so attractive and partly because that's just devastating. When Sirius Black died. Um, if you could hook up with any Harry Potter character, who would it be? Um, so I would say they are probably... <laughs> Most of the characters are not my type. Um, Sirius Black. Oh, and Cedric Diggory, is that his name? Cedric Diggory. Uh, Favourite character, Luna Lovegood. She is so cute. I love her so much. She is just so adorable. Luna Lovegood. Um, what would your Patronus be? If it was like my favourite animal, I would say it would be an Amor Leopard because they're my favourite. But I don't know if that is me enough. Uh, a bat would be kind of cool. Um, like I wouldn't be like a dragon or a unicorn or anything super like, wow. Yeah, probably a bat. I would say a bat. Um, if you could have the Resurrection Stone, Invisibility Cloak or the Elder Wand, which one would you choose? Oh, invisibility Cloak. I would love that. That would be the coolest thing. I would go... Um, oh, what do I even do with it? There's so much stuff I'd do. I'd go and find all my exes and listen to hear what they have to say about me and then spook them like I'm a ghost. I would... Um, what do I do? 
be at work, put the cloak on, and everyone would be like, oh my god, where's Blaze gone? She just completely disappeared. And then I'd just walk out and go home and nap. <laughs> Um, what house would you be in? So I took the test, is it the Pottermore test? Something like that. Um, I took that test and I got Ravenclaw, which is really rubbish because who do you even know that's a Ravenclaw? Who? Like, it's not a big one by any means. It's never mentioned. No one cares about Ravenclaw and I got Ravenclaw, so I'm pretty offended by that. If you could meet any member of the cast, who would it be? Um... I would say it's pretty cool to meet Daniel Radcliffe because, you know, he's done pretty well for himself, hasn't he? Um, probably any of them, to be honest. I'm not super, super picky. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't, if there was like a queue of people waiting to meet one of the characters, I probably wouldn't join it. And if I was given the chance to meet the cast members, there's people I'd give my place to that like it more than me. So, yeah. Um, have you played any of the video games? Yes, I played, there was a Lego version of Harry Potter, was it Lego or was it just a really old, I used to play it at my friend Ethan's house, I don't know what one it was because it was so, like years and years ago, I only vaguely remember it. What did we have to kill? Like Bas Basilic? Basilic? Uh, oh, I have no idea. Oh, the, the dog, the big three headed dog thing, did we have to kill that? I can't remember, but it was really difficult. None of my friends could do it, and they got to my turn, and I panicked, button pressed, and then I defeated it. And they were all like, oh my god, you're so good. I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, if you were on the Quidditch team, which position would you play? I'm not really a sports player. I guess it's not super sporty, because you're on a broomstick. But I would be a cheerleader for the Quidditch team. Can I do that? Uh, were you happy about the ending? No, because Belichick a strange died. She was so cool. Um, not happy about that. Pretty mad about that. But as for the actual ending, I mean, obviously we all knew Harry was going to win anyway. Um, you wouldn't make a whole series of books about him and then let him die, would you? So we all knew it was going to happen. I think it was filmed in a cool way. Definitely very interesting. Definitely very engaging. Um, would definitely watch the films again but I would keep Bellatrix Lestrange alive. And the bit at the end when it shows Harry and his like kids in the future and he married Ginny. I don't, I'm not really a fan of that relationship, Harry and Ginny. No, don't like that. Um, how much does Harry Potter mean to you? I'm not by any means a super massive Harry Potter fan, like absolute has all the merch, knows every word to every film. But I definitely like it, definitely like the series, really cool. I've never been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, but I would really like to. It's not even that far from me, probably like an hour and a half in the car. So I definitely want to go. I'm definitely interested and I definitely love it, but there's so many people who like it more than I do. So yeah, I am by no means a super fan. So that is all the questions. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll post the questions in the description. And I tag any of you who want to do this tag to do it. And if you would like to do it in the bath of this bath bomb, then even better, extra cool points for you. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've had a lot of fun filming this. Um, there are three other bath bombs in this series or this range, but none of them really appeal to me. One of them is um, something to do with sleep and it's got lavender in, but it's blue, so I'm not super interested in that. And there's one that's like mango-y and lemon or something. Again, doesn't really interest me. Um, it was just this one, A, because it's black, and B, because it's Harry Potter. Uh, I was really interested. Oh, it is properly like jelly now. Like, it's all settled on the top. And so it's not the whole bath. It's just the surface has this weird jelly-like thing to it. Oh, that is just so weird. Oh, that's really cool. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this bath bomb. I want a million more. I'm gonna keep buying them until they discontinue them in Lush. This is just amazing. I 100% recommend this bath bomb to you guys, but be prepared for the mess. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to film. Um, let me know down below if you're gonna be trying this bath bomb out, if you have tried it out. Um, and if you'd like to see more videos in this kind of style. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! 
I just wanted to add to this video to show you how much mess that leaves behind. That is insane and I haven't showered yet. I've, I literally just got out and I've just stood on the bath mat but I'm gonna have to like get in there, turn the shower on, clean the bath and then shower after that. That is insane the amount of mess that is left behind, my god.